Now let's subtract some fractions. In block three, unit two, assignment sheet five, one A, you've got this problem. Now, the same thing is true on subtraction of fractions as it was the, the addition of fractions. Here again, we have to work with like denominators. We have to work with equal values in our fractions before we can subtract the numerators. Now, in this case, we have two numbers that are divisible by 6. Up here, we have 5, 6. Down here, to get 6 on the denominator, I would have to multiply 3 times 2. That means I have to multiply the numerator times 2 so that 1 third is the same as 2 sixths. Now I can subtract the numerators. I would have 3 sixths then. And then, of course, my whole numbers, I would have 2. Now there again, this can be reduced, and it should be reduced. That would be equal to then 2 and 1 half for an answer. So that if I would, if I would subtract 6 and 1 third from 8 and 5 6, it would go in there 2 and 1 half times. Now let's take one that's a little more difficult where we have to borrow, that usually gives some people some problems. I think on that same assignment, on that same assignment sheet, we've got eight and one fourth, eight and one fourth. Subtract from that uh, four and two fifths, four and two fifths. Now, here again. I need the same common denominator out of those two. And both are divisible by 20. 20 is divisible by both 4 and 5. I would have to multiply both sides of 1 fourth by 5, so I would have 5 twentieths. And over here, I would have 8 twentieths. Now, if you'll look at this, the problem that we've got here is I'm, I'm supposed to subtract 8 into 5. And, of course, that's impossible. So what I have to do is borrow 1 from over here and, make, and add those 20 twentieths. In other words, I can, I can borrow this 1, and I'm working with fractions of twentieths. So I take that 1, convert it to 20th. I have to have 20 20th. If I add 20 20th to this top number, I would have 25 20th then. Now I can subtract. That would give me 17. Then 8 from 25 gives me 17 20th. I borrowed 1 over here, and I indicate that. So I subtract the 4 now from the 7. That would give me 3. So I'll have 3 and 17 twentieths for an answer. If I take 4 and 2 fifths into 8 and 1 fourth, my answer would be 3 and 17 twentieths.